Uh, good evening, sir. Can you introduce yourself? At kung anong years kayo nasa Ateneo at nasa dorm po? Uh, ako si Tony Miloto. Uh, I was in the dorm from 1967 to 1971. Dalawang taon sa Servini and dalawang taon sa Ilyaso. Um, Sir Miloto, sa ang province po sila galing at kung galing man kayo sa probinsya, meron ba kayong mga apprehensions coming to Manila and going to Ateneo po? Galing ako sa Bacolod uh, City, Negros Occidental. Um, hindi naman ako nahirapan sa sa dorm kasi bago nga ako sa pumunta sa Ateneo, may isang taon muna ako uh, as an American Field Service uh, student sa California. Uh, kaya pagpunta ko sa dorm, marami rin akong mga kaibigan na na nakapasok din sabay-sabay namin. So, um, it was not a big shock for me to be in the big city because also of that one year that uh, I was able to spend abroad. Were there, uh, was it hard being taken out of your comfort zone? All of a sudden, sir, you had to mind your own allowance, make up your own bed, worry about your food. Naging problema ba yan, sir? Actually, I, uh, I cherish the freedom not to really uh, uh, be by, to do what I wanted, to be responsible for my, for my life, uh, to take care of my schedule. And uh, it was a very exciting phase in my life dahil iba't ibang mga kaibigan, iba't ibang interest. So meron akong barkada sa Glee Club, may barkada of course ako sa dorm, may barkada din ako mga Ilonggo, may barkada din ako mga mahilig sa 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 theater at may barkada ko mahilig sa pekwa at saka sa inuman. <laughs> Sir, ano po yung mga memorable moments niyo nung nasa dorm kayo? Yung mga traditions, uh, uso ba noon yung inuho tinatapon sa pool pag birthday? Ano yung mga naalala po ninyo hanggang ngayon pa? Yun, yung tradisyon na hinuhulog sa sa swimming pool uh, tuwing birthday kasabay ko parati si Nilo Claudio kasi magka birthday kami. No? Pero maraming mga ano, yung, uh, yung mga tradisyon, uh, ang lalo-lalo na pag dorm parties, no? uh, kailangan maganda ang uh, magandang date mo o kaya huwag ka nalang magdala. <laughs> o kaya kung wala ka mamakuha magandang date, makisabay ka dun sa mga may mga maraming mga, mga gandang kaibigan. No? So, you know, masaya ang dorm. Uh, <laughs> Sir, do you think itong stay nyo sa dorm at yung buhay, yung itong freedom sa yung mga natutunan yung mga forms of responsibility ay nakapag-shape kung sino po kayo ngayon? Uh, I, I, I believe so. Uh, the work now of uh, nation building, uh, of really, of uniting uh, our people from different uh, regions. Sa tingin ko, nag-ugat yan sa panahon ko sa dorm na kasama ko hindi lamang yung mga Ilonggo kundi kasama ko rin yung mga taga Davao, taga Cebu, mga taga Bicol, taga San Pablo, mga kapamp mga Kapampangan, mga Tagalog. No, and uh, we saw uh, and, uh, we saw the good in each other. We we there was genuine solidarity in in the dorm. We brought out the best in one another. We had great fun. We were truly one people. No, and uh, I suppose that uh, uh, at the root of our own, our poverty, and uh, uh, is the fact that we are a divided people. No, by divided by by uh, regionalism, they're divided by by religion and uh, and uh, partisan interest. Ang uh, ang dorm noon, walang ano eh, walang. We were all equal, you know, in worth and dignity. We were all friends. And that's uh, and uh, my dream na lahat ng Pilipino ay mag magiging uh, magkaibigan na magkakapatid na na nagtutulungan na walang Pilipinong kaaway o kalaban. No? And sa sa tingin ko uh, naranasan ko yan nang nandun ako sa dorm kasi halos sa uh, lahat ng <laughs> yung mga kasamahan ko galing sa iba't ibang probinsya. And uh, walang ano wala kaming nakitang uh, ano pagkakaiba uh, you know, walang mababa walang no 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 we were all equal in worth and dignity 
and we had great fun. Sir, nabanggit niyo po yung nation building. No? Did you feel that, eto, your experiences obviously, did they help shape what GK is, its vision? Yes. Uh, ang, uh, sa tingin ko kasi, lahat tayo ay, uh, uh, ito ay ang buhay natin ay isang malaking, pag, ay mahabang paglalakbay. At uh, very significant uh, part of my own journey was the time I spent in Ateneo. And uh, during the four years I was in Ateneo, uh, the dorm was my home. No? And uh, you know, the, uh, I took this, you know, and I'm now starting to reconnect with many of my friends you know, in the Ateneo uh, from the dorm. Now that uh, we, have, uh, we have gone our separate ways, but uh, at uh, the end of the journey, no, we are all coming home. Marami sa mga pumunta sa ibang bansa are starting to reconnect uh, with, the, with the country. And uh, as the work of Gawad Kalinga uh, spreads all over the world, we're starting also to uh, reconnect with one another. Kaya hindi din, uh, it's not, uh, it's not uh, you know, to me it's not surprising that uh, Ateneo is the first academic institution that has uh, responded to the call of nation building through Gawad Kalinga that uh, many of uh, the believers in this cause you know, uh, are graduates of Ateneo and uh, Father Benebres, the president, you know, has uh, 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 really uh, spread uh, the, 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 the sp has really spread the, the vision and the spirit of Gawad Kalinga not only in this country but in his travels abroad no, so, uh, uh, even the graduates of Ateneo are starting to really find, uh, again, a, f a, f a concrete expression of what it is to be a man for others. No? And uh, what is uh, uh, now exciting many of us, even at uh, this stage in our life, no, is that, uh, that uh, we are starting to really uh, find the expression for our love for God and country and uh, to take pride that we are, can participate in the noble work of nation building. Our, uh, uh, the, 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 the greatest joy and uh, excitement that uh, I feel, which many share, is that if we work together and we use our expertise, our experiences, the lessons we've learned in, in life, you know, and uh, just uh, 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 be in solidarity in our shared vision, to build a, a first world Philippines, uh, a progressive nation, you know, uh, we can really pass on the legacy you know, of a great nation to our children. We want uh, our children to be the first uh, generation of Filipinos who will really be proud of this country. If, if uh, we spent uh, our entire life you know, in a third world Philippines uh, through this work and many other initiatives, uh, uh, from our countrymen here and abroad, and many of them coming from uh, graduates of this university, that our children will be the first uh, world generation of Filipinos. Well said, sir. Last question po. Uh, sa 2950th year po ng school, uh, sa tingin po nila, yung dorm ay dapat maging integral part ng celebration ng eskulahan? <laughs> dapat. <laughs> no? Dahil... Uh, Ang dorm uh, really uh, uh, for us was uh, symbolized the solidarity of Filipinos. Kasi uh, sa dorm, diyan pumupunta yung mga galing sa mga probinsya. No? Yung mga probinsya sa Mindanao, probinsya sa Northern Luzon, yung mga malalayong lugar na ang, ang, uh, yan ang nagiging tahanan ng Pilipino. No? Kaya dito rin ang ma, ma, ano eh, ang, ang, kara, ang buhay sa dorm no uh, really offered uh, you know vast uh, opportunities to experience what it is truly what it is uh, to be truly Filipino kasama mo kasi mga Ilocano kasama mo Kapampangan kasama mo yung mga Bicolano kasama mo yung taga Mindanao may mga taga may mga kaklase pa ako mga na ano na mga igorot galing sa sa Baguio no and uh, and we had a really wonderful time dahil ano dahil tahanan namin yung dorm kami lahat ay isang pamilya sa dorm kaya sa tingin ko nagiging lalong totoo 
ang Ateneo. It became truly representative of the entire country because it brought into its campus, you know, uh, Filipinos from different uh, regions and uh, who considered the dorm home. Salamat.